will see a Q next to her name, which means she can go, maybe have a shower, have a bite to eat, and come back and compete for the gold medal. Now, last week, we saw a Satkova competing, and this week we've got a different Satkova competing. Of course, Gabby competing today. She sat out last week. Her sister, Monica, was in... in uh, in Augsburg and now Gabby's competing here to try and get another check into the final. Have, how's her form been so far this year, Eva? Have you seen much of Gabby on the water? Yeah, she, she is really good in, in the sessions and then she just put it to the race. You just see even like no mistakes during the sessions, that's why she can make it really easily then in the, in the races. It's really good to watch her in training. She's quite a tall competitor, and, and the Sankovas as well, both of the sisters are very, very good wild water paddlers. If, you know, I'm sure if we weren't paddling here today, they'd be over in Augsburg at the World Championships. They really made their mark in that sport. So, again, it is uh, Claudia Zwolinska who continues to wait to see if she's going to be in the finals. The way Gabby Satkova is attaching, attacking these gates, though, she's going to be not only in the final, but she could go in as the... Oh, that is a strong move. Let's see if she can pull it off. A little bit of... Oh, what's happened there? She's done an unnecessary spin. Her time was fast, so she's still going to be okay, I think. Unbelievable. She got into all sorts of trouble at that combination, but look at that. Explain that to me, Eva, please. I don't know if she saw...